How's it going everybody? It's Dean here from Our Gaming, and today we're going to start off the stream by uh, playing a little bit of standard. So what we have is we have a couple um, of standard uh, decks, uh, Sakdos. So we're playing Black Red. Um, one of them is kind of uh, just a... Uh, just a one-shot game. Doesn't have a sideboard. Well, well, it does have a sideboard, but it's not meant to be uh, used with a sideboard. I just kind of copied the uh, the best of three deck and then made some additions to the main deck. So it's same old, same old. The um, the difference is we do not have the two mana giant. Um, I kind of grab this one off of. You, uh, I, I grabbed this one off of Twitter actually. It made a couple of minor mods, but I think it, I think it looks good enough. We, on on Twitch the other day, we tried to play um, the three color Jund sacrifice. Didn't have much luck at all. And since then, we've been trying to ramp up um, with the Uro decks, uh, the the, the Saltai Uro to be specific. We did toy around with the uh, with the white version, but we we stuck with black in the end. And here's the traditional set. Here's the sideboard along with it. Um, notable mentions is that we have Evolving Wilds in here, which is what some decks do not have. Um, again, it gives you another little sack, sack outlet. And this is supposed to be a very sort of fast deck. Get that damage in very early. But we'll see how it goes. Like I say, we uh, we are just looking really to, to ramp up as, um, as quickly as possible uh, within this meta. So... Change this deck to the traditional. And we'll see how it goes in uh, best of three for a few games. And then we'll swap over to, uh, to best of one with the other deck. Just to see if we can uh, see if we can make any sort of improvement or advancement in our ranking. We did say by the end of the weekend we do at least want to be in gold one. So against Clean Buddy in the first game. Okay. Now what do we think? I think it's a decent starting hand. Happy to keep. Up home wall, down to six. They play the Temple of Malice. And hopefully we can uh, draw something which isn't the Fabled Passage. That's excellent. So Temple of Malice for us. Midnight Reaper, okay, that's fine. So we're gonna hit in next turn with the Dreadhorde Invader. Okay, um, or do we? I think we do. Let's go for the Dreadhorde Invader. Oppo has something. We'll get the removal out of their hand. Bone Crusher Giant, okay. So we're getting for one there. Now does Oppo have anything else? Fabled Passage, they can crack that, but it does not help them with the Giant at this time. Okay. So this is good for us. It allows us to get our Mayhem Devil. And that's a good start. So I can't sacrifice anything just yet. Let's see what Oppo goes for. Okay, Murderous Rider. So that's something which this deck doesn't have. Hmm. I think here I play at the Midnight Reaper and go for the Fabled Passage. Um, yeah, I probably do sacrifice it, don't I? Okay, so get. Try and get as many uh, land cards. Out of our hand as possible, out of the library as possible. Up, I can go with Eva here. Now, what's nice is that I've got two uh, claim the firstborn. Okay. Up, has to get rid of the Maya Triton. Now, what do we do here? So, I think I play out the priest. And 
the Crusader. Now, I could grab that and just swing in for three, but I don't think I do. Uh, although, no, I don't think I do. End turn. So here, Oppo does the same again. They get rid of a second Myotritum. Now, it's going to be interesting for us to see uh, what Oppo does. So when they do this, they lose two life, sacrifice a creature, and you add two mana. Wow, Murderous Rider. That's not so bad for us. Draw that card. Does Oppo go in here? They might do. I don't think they do, though. Lovely. So I'm gonna play out the I'm gonna play out the Murderous Rider. First one. Attacking with all. So I wasn't able to use the uh, when you attacked him with this, I forgot it has to tap. So we are still learning the ropes here. But Oppo does get down to a nice hand size. Okay, so that was a punt. I don't think so. Okay, so this is nice. So Bow Strider. So that's when a non-creature token dies, isn't it? Hmm. So what do we do here then? I think I can tack him with the Midnight uh, Reaper. For sure. Get rid of one of those Mithras Riders. Uh, do, 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 do. Sacrifices a creature, that's fine. Draw a card. Draw two cards even. Nice. So I'm going to play out the devil and pass. Okay, so let's see what Oppo goes for here. Rankle. That's not ideal. Hmm. Phoenix with Ash. Nice. So Oppo's going to go in for five. What are they going to make us do? Discards a card, loses one life and draws a card. That seems fine. Oppo will discard a land, presumably. I will discard this Crusader. And, hmm, my turn. Okay, so I'm going to play out the Mayhem Devil. Evolving Wilds. Crack that. What do we need? Black. Okay, so I can sacrifice two creatures. Opponent has to sacrifice something as well. Maybe I can play... What do we do here? So, do I play this down? Okay, so here I think I can play this down. Tap this. Uh, choose a target sacrifice. What? Target players, that one. Sacrifice two creatures. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, I could just get rid of that, that, yeah, let's do this, so that, that, now I've got to sacrifice a creature, what do they do? Presumably it's got to be one of these, sacrificing that, okay, that's interesting, beautiful. 
So we stop them from gaining life. That's the main thing here. We resolve. So we can play out a witch's oven. A zombie with haste. And we go in with all. And this should be it. Okay, so presumably what we want to do here is how many goes through? Three, so that's fine. So we can sacrifice this. Which is fine. And then we can sacrifice this. Go in, boom. So we get the first win. So that's that's not too bad, is it? Uh, we did make a mistake early on, which could have cost us. But I think all in all, it's a uh, it's a nice little variation on the deck, and well and truly gets us there. Now, obviously, we don't want our opponents to be sacrificing things. Um, I honestly wouldn't make too many changes here. Let's see, they do have some relatively big flyers, don't they? And a couple of things that do need exiling. So perhaps we pop in... Um, maybe I go for three of the melees. Or maybe two melees, two of these. And then get rid of one of each of those. Just shave those off the top. In fact, in fact, no. So I'm going to get rid of one of the Roast Riders. And instead pop in a, a Cling to Firstborn. Just an excellent little bit of... Uh, removal for us there and also kind of bleeds into exactly what we want to be doing so let's see if uh, see what clean bunny says now for those of you who just just joined what we said was we're going to play out um, a few games of the sort of traditional standard with the Rakdos uh, sacrifice so uh, Sakdos and then we're going to play out a couple of the best of ones with a slight uh, variation of the deck. No sideboarding involved in that. I'll be uh, posting both of these decks to um, Twitter after the stream at r underscore Dino. And hopefully we'll be uploading this video to YouTube as well so we can catch our progress on that on our road to Mythic this month. I'll probably be taking a lot of time sideboarding. I wonder what they are. I wonder what they're trying to push through with that. Okay. So at least they joined us for the second game. So like I say, it's the first couple of times we've played with this deck. So we're not expecting absolute miracles. But I am very happy with this. I think... Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go down with the uh, with the kitty cat. Start getting that bit of damage in. So I've probably got I've probably got the Maya Triton, which is perfectly fine. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for hmm. I'm going to play out the oven. It's not exactly what we want to be doing here, but sacrifice the Maya Triton. Remember, it is one of the creatures that we do find it particularly difficult to get through. So Oppo plays out Timoret. They will have to exile their Rankle. Oh no, they've got the Maya Triton. Forgot about that. Okay, so here I'm just going to play out. Hmm, I can only do one thing. And so I'm just going to play out the Agonizing Remorse just to see what Oppo has in their hand. And wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, yeah, that's not ideal, is it? So they've got enough to play a second Timoret. And we don't want them to flood the board. So we're going to get rid of that. Give them a choice of what to play next. Fable Passage. Sadly, we, we played it such that we don't get any advantage from either the sack or um, or the actual playing of it. And so what we can do is we can present the uh, Cauldron Familiar as a blocker. 
Okay, so Oppo Whiff, they have to get rid of the Rankle, should they want to uh, use it, and they do. Obviously, they don't have any sort of recursion. And it looks to me like they're going to go out... Okay. That's a little bit sloppy from Oppo there. They should... They should know that doesn't work. Pass to attackers. And I'm happy to play out uh, the familiar sacrificing of food. Present that as a blocker. Lovely. And you know what? I'm going to play it back out. Oppo's got no nothing to sort of do there with that. Um, so I think here we go for the agonizing remorse. And we actually get rid of the second uh, Timurat Calls of Dead. Just because of how damaging we know it to be. So I'm happy to pass here. Um, up against two life. Scry's two. Okay, so what do they have? They could play two things here. My Triton. Okay, so they are playing the Croxer. Can't play it out this turn, but we'll play it out next turn. I'm going to present a blocker here. And get some uh, benefit out of it. Play the Cauldron Familiar back in. Take that two lap damage. Okay, so it would be fantastic here if we could get... Um, what do we actually want? We want uh, probably Mayhem Devil. Okay, so we're stuck with the Woe Strider. What do we do here then? I think we play out the Woe Strider. Create that goat. And I'm happy to happy to attack him with a familiar. Okay, Oppo was happy to take that as well. So we can end the turn. So a couple of little protection elements here. Remember we can sacrifice the goat, we can sacrifice the familiar, get it back. Whatever we need to, really, we are we're pretty set. We haven't really got a way to deal with uh, Croxer unless we draw unless we draw another sort of eat to extinction, something like that. Okay. Oh, it's just got a card, isn't it? I keep forgetting. Okay. Happy to discard that then. So is Arpo going to attack him? They are. Nice. So, I'm going to play these two out like this. Um, sacrifice the goat. Trade those two off. Looks like it's going to end of turn. Sacrifice the cat. Bring the cat back. Keep dealing that incremental damage and see what we can do. Okay. So not, not the best here. I think we play out a, another Woe Strider and pass the turn. We are we're not doing too well for mana. But then again, we also don't have any real big creatures to take advantage of the of the current situation. So we'll see. Oppo passes to attack. They're gonna attack with the crocs, obviously. Will I trade off the second second bow strider? I think so. So that's interesting. We pass to the blockers. And we block. Now I think I'm gonna actually just sacrifice it via the woe strider. So mountain doesn't really do us any good here. We're looking for like a mayhem devil or something just to start getting that damage in. Does Oppo have anything else? Anything more for Oppo? Second Crocs are okay. We don't have any uh, cards in hand, so I guess we lose three life. And what else do they have? So they could bring it back. It would be a little bit pointless for them. Okay. So sacrifice the cauldron familiar. Bring it back. This is much easier to play on PC than it is on any laptop. You can always tell when your opponent's playing on a laptop because go through these processes just takes absolutely ages. It's quite agonizing to, to watch. Okay, and 
That's exactly what we wanted. Mayhem Devil out. And I think we can pass the turn. Do we go in with Rose Strider? Probably not. We just kind of sit, rest in our lowers a little bit here. And I think Oppo... What, what, what's Oppo going to do here? So they can... So I'm just seeing how many um, activations I get from this. So uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so past the blockers. Beautiful. And we pass. Stunning work here. So we're actually going to be able to get in for damage this turn as well. Which is nice to see. Okay. My turn. Sensational. So let's play out the Midnight Reaper. And I think we attack in here. And we can give up over the GG's because... We have well and truly won this match. Nice. Sacrifice that. There we go. And Oppo, Oppo quits. So that was actually a successful first run out. And already we find ourselves in gold tier 2. So we did a little bit more work yesterday. Towards the latter half of the stream. And uh, was able to rank up with the Uro Sultai deck. So we carry on. Our 750 coin quest today is to play 40 lands, so that should be very, very easily done. Hopefully we're going to be able to get a couple of drafts in as well today, so. Okay. So, a decent opening hand. Evolving Wild. So we'll keep Evolving Wilds kind of... Um, on our side, uh, just for when we get the Mayhem Devil out. Up it goes in with the Robber of the Rich, so this could be our Mayhem Devil. No, it was a land. And we pass the Oppo. Okay. So we're going to have to go in with both here. Can't hold any cards back. Oppo's playing Mono Red, so. I'm sure there'll be no worries at all for us getting these cards out of our hand. Okay. Second land gone. Now this is interesting. So here we play in the Forgotten Priest and also the Witch's Oven. And we pass the Oppo. So ideally we need the Mayhem Devil in order to kill the Annex. Although we do get to... Um, Okay, a second Rob the Rich. Have they got anything else? They do. Feather and Champion. Nice. Okay, so Oppo is attacking in with a substantial. Wow, okay. This is very good for them. Um, hmm. Is this the way forward? Or do we just take seven? In which case we do this, don't we? Take four. So we go to blocks. Okay. So not ideal for us there. Um, this could be quite a, uh, a tough matchup. But, um, this is quite nice. So let's go for, uh, hmm, let's go for a Claim the Firstborn on the Annex. And we go, do we just go in with everyone? No, we keep this back. But we go in with, hmm, that can block that, I guess. We go with those two. Nice. And I think we sacrifice 
the annex here. Draw ourselves a, another creature. And play the Fable Passage out. So we can do that any time. And I think we are happy to kind of move on. So this is nice. What's our poke going to do here? Remember, in order to play any of the creatures in exile, they have to uh, they have to attack him. So we can block there and block there. Ah, Ember Cleave. Very nice. Um, ba -ba -ba. So that's fine. We. What do we do? We sacrifice this, don't we? And trade. Hmm. We could. Trade these two off. So that's a shame for Oppo because that's actually taking a lot of their sort of time and energy out of Temple of Malice. So we can have a look what's coming up. We don't. So what am I doing here? We don't want this at all. Uh, hmm. Now this isn't ideal. Obviously. We go with a Sata token here. And then I think we just have to hold back because Oppo is going to cause us issues now. I mean, they're more than welcome to attack him with all, obviously. So I can block that and I can block that. Ember Cleave. What are they attaching the Ember Cleave to? Okay, so here I can sacrifice the Butcher. Deal damage there. Beautiful. Ember Cleave doesn't uh, do anything, and as such, sacrifice that. Beautiful, look at that. No damage gets through. Oppo can play out the Crusader should they want. Okay. Oppo decided not to bother. And I think what I'm going to do is crack one of the uh, foods. And actually, try and get some more lands out of my hand, perhaps, and crack this second food as well. Okay, a third oven. That's interesting. So they can just attach this next turn. So I think here I need to. I think I need to do as much damage as possible. I think I've got the I think I've got the W. It's weird that he didn't attach the Ember Cleave. They must be they must be having to try and scry. But what they're not seeing perhaps is that Okay, what are you doing? Why are you attaching that there now? Okay, and I think we get the W. Um, I just I just uh, sacrificed the cat. Um, three times. So if I was Oppo, I would just quit now. But it seems to be that they... They want us to go through the whole rigmarole. And as such, we can do. I'll just put... I'll just say good game just to try and get them to... Get them to think about it. Maybe they're hoping that I miss a trigger or something. I suppose obviously got a lot more time on their hands than, uh, than we do today. Okay. Perhaps I forgot that we could do that on our turn. So here I think I'm going to bring in the uh, 
whatever the red cap mill is. They didn't really show any sort of, you know, um, fact that we'd need to deal with anything quite quickly. So I'm happy to just uh, bump those down by one. I think playing a little more defensively is the way forward. Um, hmm. Perhaps we do grab the witch's oven. Okay, let's jump back in. So far, we're undefeated with this deck, so very happy. Uh, it's a little, it's a little slow in terms of the actual sort of technicalities of playing it, but but that's by the by, and I'm very happy so far. Okay, so here I think I'm okay to go second. The Fable Passage I'm going to crack straight away. It's a real shame that this Crusader doesn't have uh, haste. But that's fine, I can play it down. The beginning of your upkeep, each player draws two cards. and Okay, so Oppo gets to go in. That's a shame. Get rid of one of our lands. Blood Crypt. Uh, so I'll play out the Crusader. Oppo might have a Giants to kill it. They didn't seem like they were playing the Giants in the last game, unless they were really unlucky with their draws. Okay. Interesting. Happy to block there. And so, what should I do here? I think I'm happy to play out a Mayhem Devil. Now, depending on what Oppo plays, do I trade off for the Annex? I mean, there's a chance they could have the Ember Cleave, but if they do, they'll have it anyway, right? They'll have it at some point, and... Okay. Nice, they didn't. Have they got any way to finish off the Mayhem Devil? They do. Okay, so they do have the Giant. Light up the stage, okay. Beautiful. So here I think I want to... Um, maybe play out the... Storm Crusader, as well as the Priest, and pass the turn. So I've got two blockers. Oppo, if I was them, I'd be playing the Runaway Steamkin and the Giant. Perhaps I should have something that's a bit more of a board sweep. What have they possibly got here? Okay, another Annex. That's nice. They lose the Giant. Oh, no, they don't lose the Giant because they played that previously. Okay, so here I think I, hmm, what do I do? Menace? Let's play that out. Beautiful. And we can pass. Pass to attackers. That's interesting. Um I think I've got to do this here, haven't I? No, maybe I don't. So they've obviously got something that flashes in, or they can just press this and kind of bump everything up slightly. In which case, I pop that on there. Just to make them have something uh, a lot more aggressive. Ember Cleave, perhaps? Yeah. Let's see where the Ember Cleave goes. Okay, so... Here I think what I have to do, hmm, oh no I can't really, can I? Because the we don't get a second activation if we do this. Hmm. Okay. I think it's going to die anyway, right? So, let's just get rid of this one guy. Can I target that? That's strange. Why don't you let me target that? Is that a glitch? 
If I lose this by one point. I think they still could have buffed actually, couldn't they? Oh yes, it gets double. I could not couldn't have won anyway. Mm hmm So essentially Essentially I need these. Because this is not um instant speed. In fact nothing's instant speed really, is it? I guess I could try and slow them down with this. Maybe what maybe what? Remove the woe striders, get those in there and one more familiar? I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Uh get there. We'll get that. We could. So that's our first game loss. Let's hope it's not our first match loss. Okay, play first. And this is nice. It gives us lots of protection. Um, I think... Do I have to go for the Fable Passage? I think I do. Oppo knows what we're playing. It's not a surprise. I'm going to grab a red here. And pass the turn. Okay, so Temple. We can't really do anything here. So play out the Temple and get something that's not a land. Let's see what Oppo has. Steamkin. My turn. Okay, so the castle lock. Uh, we can't play that yet. That's a little bit of a trap. Play out the Midnight Reaper. Uh, we certainly would trade if Oppo presented us with the option. They're not giving us the chance. Take one damage, draw one card. Okay, so get rid of those uh get rid of those lands out of our hands. Out of our deck rather. Okay. That's a shame, isn't it? So I think I think yeah, I played down the Blood Crypt. And pass the turn, and then I've got to uh, red cap melee when they play this runaway steamkin. Which they will do. They'll play the Runaway Steam King first. Do they have anything more after this? Room Rock Knight, okay. That seems realistic. Mayhem Devil is nice. Hmm. So I haven't got a way to uh I haven't got a way to sacrifice anything yet, right? Right. So I think I have to pass. And let's see what Oppa goes for. So they've got five mana. They could are they enraged for the Ember Cleave? I think they are. Harden of the Forge. So we found our target for the melee. Hmm. Now what do I do? I think I think I go for the red cat melee on if it's a non red creature. Oh, I think I know why. I think I know why. Okay. There we go. So, Oppo can go in with this. I'm not going to block it. Need something to... I need some sort of sacrifice type affair here. Uh, that's not good enough. So we pass. And we could be losing. We don't seem to have anything which is coming clutch for us. Tybalt. No life gain. Bunkerous Giant. So I'm going to pop that in there. Hmm. Not so good for us here. So I do need kind of both of these cards, but not till next turn. And I think Oppo has the win here. There's nothing we can really do. 
and Mono Red is successful. I have one more game with the. Uh, can I have one more game with the best of three. Just gives it plus one, plus one, right? That is a shame. That is a shame. Uh, so what do we do here then? Hmm. I think here we actually have to... Uh, I think here we actually have to grab the knight. I know he deals us two. But we will we'll tap this, deal that one to us. Not good enough at all, sadly. Give up over the GG. All they have to do is block with the devil and they take the win. They didn't. How strange. Okay. No qualms. So for the time being, we stay in Gold Constructed 2. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to play one more with this deck. And then we're going to jump into uh, the best of one uh, Sakdos. Just to see what we, uh, what we like the look of the best. I am enjoying it better than the uh, than the Jun sacrifice. I must admit, I wasn't too high up on the Jun sacrifice at all, and that's not me being bitter. Okay, so this is a this is a rather nice opening hand. Hopefully, I can get another land just so that I can play out the Fable Passage. Up on multi five. Hopefully they can get back on track with the temple. One to the bottom. Now this is interesting. Do I try and attack him for damage as soon as possible? Hmm. Maybe I do. I mean it could slow me back down, but... One to the top. Here we go. And it indeed did. Um, No. I haven't got anything to do with that. So again for two damage by turn two, and that's fine. Oppo's going to probably have Uro here. Thrashing Brontodon. Now that's an interesting play. Um, hmm. I'm going to play out. Going to play out the uh, Crusader, cracking the Fabled Passage on Oppo's turn. I think just to make sure I've got. That Mayhem Devil um, mana. At the minute I can attack him with a Stormfish Crusader and I will gain, uh, well, I'll lose a life but I'll draw a card. But so will Oppo, which is which is the downside, right? Growth Spiral. Another land for Oppo. Have they got anything else? Are they going to attack him? Okay, they don't. So we go to grab some red mana. Draw that card. Draw that Fabled Passage. Lovely. Um, so what do we do here? I think I... I go with the Crusader. And play down the Fabled Passage and end the turn. Oppo's fighting back here. Nissa, who shakes the world. The 
That's interesting. Um, I think I grab a black. Nice. So what do we want to do here? I think we want to play out the uh, Mayhem Devil. And then we go for... I think we hit him with the Crusader. Here. Remember this has to be double blocked. And what do we actually want to go for? Do we want to kill the Grunchadon or the Forest? I think the Forest, just because it taps for two. Hmm. Uh, keep hitting them for face there. Black mana? Okay. That's Beth Conquer's death. Nice. Now, why are they going to attack him? They haven't yet got anything to bring back. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, this will be funny. Are they just going to sacrifice it? And if they do, they have to... Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I think I play out the Woe Strider here. And I can't play this out. Remember, I need to keep up that... Uh, hmm. Actually. Actually, I think I just attack in... Just attack in with that. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, maybe I keep this down. And we pass the turn. Okay, so I think I've got Oppo next turn. Just need to see what they can do with... Are they going to play out a Hydroid Crisis? I think they are. Oh, wow. Hydroid Crisis. If it's big enough and I draw a uh, a steel spell, that would be that would be fantastic. Are they going to tap that as well? Wow! Yes, nice. High George crisis for five, so they only gain two life of interest. Um, I think I sacrifice his goat. Witch's oven. Hmm, not good for us just yet. My turn. Boom. And I think the Midnight Reaper. And I just go in here. So what would they take? They take five. Okay. I haven't got you beat, Oppo. Just so you know. Okay. So now we do know what they've got. So we want to. Um... Okay. So we want to play in. Do we want the melees? 
Certainly we want a couple of agonizing uh, remorses. The wrath would be nice, just in order to get rid of all of their creatures. Remember, there's no recursion. Maybe one of these. Okay, so what do we want to get rid of? One, two, maybe two of those. And a forgotten. Okay, so we need to play a little bit more defensive, don't we, essentially? Three or greater. And I think that is the way to be defensive. They That's an artifact. I don't think they're playing artifacts. So I'm unhappy with this. Let's, let's run it back. Let's hopefully we can get our... Uh, hopefully we can get two wins. One loss. Lovely. Back on our road to Mythic. And that's a decent start. Okay, so we're going to play out the first Witch's Oven. Oppo is going to sack their Fabled Passage, get a blue. So they could play a lot more defensively here. Um, however, I've got so many creatures and so many different uh, things going on that perhaps it might not be sort of advantageous for them. Okay, so scrap that. I'm going to go first in with the Dreadhall Butcher. Beautiful. Okay, end turn. So I've got... Two mana, just kind of, well, two damage. So that's an exile. So if we kill that ourselves, we can deal two to Oppo. Nice. And here I'm going to play out the Crusader. Play out the Fabled Passage and pass the turn. On their end step, we crack the Fabled Passage and get ourselves a red mana. Unless Oppo tries to exile this as well. Teferi. Hmm. Draw a card. Okay. So that's a weird one. What do they... Okay, so here... Get Oppo to sacrifice the Planeswalker. And play out the second Witch's Oven. So whatever they play this turn, I can sacrifice it. Nissa. That's an interesting one. So let's go for the Crusader. Three or less. Go on, let me have it. Can't stop. Can't help it. End the turn. Now this is an interesting one. So if Oppo just creates a creature, I can get in because I've got Menace, um, but we are a little bit slow and, and I think we're, we're slower than we want to be. So what's this? Okay, so again, I don't want them scrying. We're very short on mana. Ask and thou shall receive. Now, have they got a counter spell? That would be. Okay, so we're going to pass. And things aren't looking great in all honesty. Growth Spiral for Oppo. They have another land. Okay. So this is when a non token creature dies. Oops. What have I done there? Okay. Tamiyo. Tamiyo can go and get something back. Probably the Teferi. Just come to their hand if they... Yeah. What are you looking for? Uro? There's probably an Uro coming. Don't you worry. Don't you worry.
Okay. So no hydro crisis for them. But they can... They can get their aura. Are they going to play it now? Pre-combat. Spicy. No, they can't play it. They have to play it pre-combat because if they go and attack in... Okay. Um, so I'm going to block, but I'm going to sacrifice that. No, 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 no. Not at all. I don't know what I want, actually. Mayhem Devil? Whatever it is, it's not that. Uh... Oh dear, oh dear. No attacks, okay. I guess we are looking for our board wipe now. Or a cat of some sort, I guess. A cat would get us some life back. But they've got a neuro. Ah, beautiful. Now what are they going to be playing this on? Priest of Forgotten Gods, okay. Uh, let's do that instead. Draw a card. Scry into another Midnight Reaper? No, that will kill me. Okay, so... Wow, Teferi? Hmm. It's not looking good for us, everyone. That's not good. That's not good at all. Board wipe or nothing now. And I need to block Uro with this. <laughs> GG's Oppo, GG's. Okay, it wasn't meant to be with that, sadly so. So I think we go back now into, uh, what is it, rank three? Oh no, we have a we have another game. We have another game, I forgot. Definitely a second board wipe. Um, kill spells. He's exiled, don't they? So I think we actually need to go full on aggression here. Noxious Grasp. Yeah, we do want one Noxious Grasp. And knock these down. Okay, let's play 61 cards and maybe we can save a little phase here. Okay. Um, I think we can actually keep this just because we've got a temple. So we get to, we get to have a little look. Okay, so in this case, we go Fabled Passage, passage even. Grab a black. So remember, we can get lots of cards out of our hand here. Okay, so we're going to go for the Midnight Reaper. Does Opera have a counter? No, they have uh, they have Growth Spiral, or whatever it is. Was it Growth Spiral? Yeah. Okay, definitely playing in the land there. A fairy. Okay, so we play the Midnight Reaper, and we play the Cauldron's Familiar, taking us both down to 19 life. Uro. Wow, Oppo scooped. That's not a very sort of fair reflection of the deck, I guess. But we did what we said we would. 
Nice. Oh, awesome. I'm sure I had a whole place out of those. Okay, so let's jump on to standard ranked. It's been a while since we've played standard ranked. And we try the uh, Sactos version of this. Valeria, Valeria Varic. Okay, so this guy, this is a little bit sort of. I don't know, is it faster? Maybe, it, maybe. It's more about sacrificing this one. Is. What are these sleeves? I think I've, uh, I think I've just bought these sleeves actually. Have I? Nope. Nearly made a mistake. Thank you, Fable Passage. You can stay there. Okay, run the race, run the race, Teamkin. Oppo is going to go in for two here. Oppo, you've got to be going in for two. Nice. Dreadhold Butcher. So we're going for three. It's only going to get bigger, Oppo. Beautiful. Nice little two for one there. So sacrifice a permanent, remember. Run away, Steamkin. I'll pose a little bit shy in terms of mana. Now, what are they going to trade this off? Are they worried? Okay, so... Nice. Maybe I should have played the Fable Passage. I think I got away with that there. No, I didn't. I should have played the Fable Passage. That was a poor piece of play there. I just assumed that they wouldn't attack and I'd get any value, but actually, it's not the case. They're going to play the knight, give it a uh, plus two. Oh, okay. Well, nice. Six damage by Oppo. Beautiful. Okay. So what can I do here then? I think I can do quite a lot, actually. So I'm going to play out the... Hmm. I'm going to play out the claim the first one. And even a priest. No, how many do I need to sacrifice it? Two. Nice. And we will play the Fable passage and end the turn. Okay, so a little bit rocky for us there, but I think I think we are getting back on track. Oppo is um, oh okay, that doesn't help them in in our case. Is Oppo going to go in here? They are. So Oppo goes in for two damage. Nice. My turn. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. Now I'm going to play out a. Hmm. Play another fabled passage passage. And now Oppo actually has to block, I think, so get that black. Beautiful, look at this. Get that red. Deal eight. Boom, boom, and boom. Past the turn. Go 
Good game, Oppo. Good night. Okay. That's that's reasonable. But Oppo loses two life here. Nice. Oh, they have to sacrifice. <laughs> That's quite ironic. You have to sacrifice a creature first. Okay, and we're back in it. So that's how the deck essentially works. It um, it kind of builds off people's. Uh, what's the word? People don't really take some of the cards as seriously as they are until actually you are you are sacrificing those cards. You're sacrificing those um, fabled passages. You're sacrificing those evolving wilds, and actually, out of nowhere, you're dealing six damage. Okay. Um, now this isn't so good for us, is it? I mean, we do have an early claim the firstborn, I guess. Okay, maybe we can make this work. Are we going first or are we going second? If we're going second, that's brilliant. Okay, we're against one of those Euro decks. One on top. Okay, not so good. Not so good at all. We might get there, let's see. Okay. So play out the gut the bones. Oh behave. Grove spiral. Third land down. Uru next turn. Okay. So they're playing the white version of the Uru deck. Teferi. Okay. Bye, Teferi. Have you got something? What one drops have you got in this in this set, in this pack? What have you got, Oppo? Oh, Boreal Grazer, nice. Nice. I mean The thing is, I don't really want to waste my time with this, but I kinda guess I have to, right? Uh, second oven down. Okay. So that's not ideal. If we get another land, we... We might be doing okay. It's good to get rid of Teferi. They've got a second Teferi. Are they going to get rid of another Witch's oven? Or are they just going to get rid of Gutter Bones? Um, that's fine. But again, though, if we do get another mana, okay. So here, I think we. What do we do? I think we play out two creatures and pass the turn. Two creatures better than uh, one. What well, two attacking creatures anyway? Okay, so Oppo took. We can still kill it. Ah, that's annoying, isn't it? Let's see what Oppo does here. I'm going to attack him with both. Just because I think. Shatter the skies. Interesting. Okay, the Rose Strider. 
and play the other oven. And turn. Um, so we did it this way just because we... Um, if we play at the rankle, there's a chance we've got another Shatter the Skies, and that's not what we want at all. So, what's this? That's fine. So, up gains one life, draws one card. Rankle's only at three here, remember. Okay. Pass to attackers. Let's eat this and see if it's anywhere near what we want it to be. It's very much not. So, we really want a... Uh, Really want another steel spell in all honesty. Hmm. So if we played this I'd have to lose to fairy this turn. Okay, so let's let's try and trade those off. So we can play out the cauldron familiar. Turn that to our hand, and we end the turn. So now we can start getting that incremental chip away damage at Oppo, and hopefully they will um, will be in a position where we can play a Rankle. Hydroid Crisis, gaining two life, drawing two cards. Teferi, would it pick it up? If you, if no, Teferi won't now. Okay. So now we are dealing three damage to Oppo a turn. So Oppo is clicking through this quite quickly for us, helping us along. It is, uh, it is quite a uh, laborious game to play. Uh, hmm. And we end the turn. That's lovely. So next turn. Hmm. That's fine. That's fine. So next turn we can play out the uh, the Mayhem Devil. Hopefully Oppo, what we really want is Oppo to attack him with the Hydro Crisis. Growth Spiral. Okay, so if they might have another Nisso shapes world. So they might attack him with a Hydro Crisis now because they. Uh... Okay, lovely. Um boom. A boil grazer. Nice. Hmm. Now this is a tricky one. I'd love to have played out the Rankle, but I'm certainly not about that life just yet. Okay, Oppo Scoops, nice. I think I could have actually dealt 10 damage there and then. Could have done at least six and then get one more in seven, nice. Okay, picking up those gems. So, two and two so far with the with the rank deck. So, what do people think? Is it um, is it better than playing with the traditional set? 
I mean, I'm all up for playing sort of best of three, but if I can, if I can rank up quicker, that's kind of where I want to be with this. So, that's a nice little start. Okay, so against Mono Red again. Dreadhorde Butcher next turn. Hopefully Oppo whiffs on a uh, turn two play. Robber the Rich. That's nice. Um, let's... Yeah, it's a little annoying. Let's play this. We could play a... Um, Nice. We had too many mana to uh, to do it that to do that efficiently. Okay, Feverant Champion. Boom boom. Knight, nice. Light at the stage. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Not so good for us. So having said that, we create this and pass the turn. So we probably do want to use the Woe Strider next turn just to make sure that we're drawing into something um, half decent. Interesting how they didn't play the Phoenix. They will, they will lose it, won't they? Is it going to it goes into exile, right? That's interesting. Maybe they'll play it after this? We want to get rid of that, don't we? Ah, uh, they can't because they've got... Um... That's interesting. Yeah, they've got the uh, Ember Cleave. Where are you attaching it to? That's fine. Cauldron familiar? Okay. Guess there's that little bit of life back. And I kind of need to block there just to take a little bit less damage. So they lose the Phoenix, I think. So this is nice. I can play out the Cauldron and I can play out the Dread Horde Butcher. All the while being ready to sacrifice the Butcher to uh, kill the Spitter when they move to their combat step, but not before. What's up we're waiting for here? What have they got? Okay, Alper, I'll just wait for you, my friend. So we can play another black there. Going with the Dreadhold Butcher. Attack for one. Cauldron familiar. Boom, boom. And we end the turn. Okay, so this is where we sacrifice the Butcher. Deal two damage to the Scorch Spitter. They lose the ability to re-equip the Ember Cleave. And they don't get an extra creature from this. What? How does that work? Or is it because it's a knight? It's a battlefield. You may pay equip cost to attach this permanent to a creature control. Okay. Did I make a mistake there? That's interesting. Let me let me know in the comments what I did there, what or, or what they did there. That's really interesting. Okay, so I can't get this out of the uh, of the graveyard just yet. Sadly, 
Okay, so we're going to... No idea, actually. We're going to pass. See what Oppo has. Hopefully no uh, buff spell. Um, I'm actually going to let them attack first. Just on the off chance they, they did have a buff there. But I think... I think this will be it for us. Uh, yep. Okay, so we get this back, and this could be our first loss in the in the ranked format. We need something extremely special to help us to help us take over the edge here. Oppo has something seemingly. See, it costs one less to cast, but it doesn't say anything about being attached. Must have been my maths. Uh, come on, Upper, what do you have? Probably, probably another Rimrock Knight in all honesty. Oppo with all the time in the world to waste now. Come on, my friends. You can do it. Now, could we do anything if we drew... The uh, the devil. That's interesting. That seems really excessive. Okay. Um, I don't think we're in it anymore. Oppo really was kind of slow playing that. They could have... Yeah. It's a weird one, but let's pass. Maybe we can survive this, I don't know. Um, I don't think we can, though. So, yeah, they attach it to the Ring Rock Knight, so which means they're going for four. Yeah, so Oppo... Oppo wins this by one, sadly. Uh... Hmm, do I have to... So first strike, they get through, don't they? I want to take that down, but I don't think I can, so... No, I think... So I think even if I do this... And they'll... Yeah. We lose out just by one. And that's a shame. We'll give them the GG's. Okay. So, I think we were a little bit strapped there because of the sort of 
lack of mana, oh well, too much mana, but lack of really kind of high end cards that that we care about. So let's let's have a quick look at this deck. And what do we have? For it's so maybe it's this Rose Strider that I'm just not too big a fan on. I think if we were to add. Oh, that's getting rid of him, is it? It's not adding it to. Um, I think if we were to get rid of two Rose Striders and put two of the melees in, I think that might be nice. And I think it might make actually a, uh, a difference here. So let's, let's jump back in with this. Beautiful. Okay, so this is this is a strong opening hand for us. Remember, we've got the slaughter priest, and in uh, in game one, nice nice sleeves. Ooh, something different. Nice. I think I've come across this deck before. What is it? What does it do? Okay, so we're going to play out the cat. We've got our. Uh, Red Cat Melee. Plenty of Witches on Steve we're going at. Slaughter Priest and the Cauldron from It's an excellent combo. Okay, is it Growth Spiral? Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to play out the. Hmm. So I could just do Red Cap and that. I think I'm going to go for the Slaughter Priest and pass. Sangreal. Nice. Okay. I've not seen this deck in a while. Hmm. So what do I want to do here? So I kind of have to, um, kind of have to tack in. I get plus one, plus one. Maybe I attack her. Let's see what happens. So. We do get a first strike. So we sacrifice that land even and we deal the first strike damage. Boom. Oh, I thought that was... <sighs> okay. Teething problems with the deck. Teething problems. No qualms. Gonna give them the oops. Okay, so it's a fairy. Okay. So Oppo's got... This is quite a nice deck, isn't it? Because you can play out lots of... Uh, little creatures. So we've got a 3-3 three, three here. Lovely. Okay, so we go for the... And do we attack him with both... I think here, in, I think in this instance, what we do is we attack in with both here. We make sure that we we get the we get the kill. We can sacrifice the bones. Boom. Okay. So back to Arpo. Sacrifice evolving wilds at end of turn. Growth spiral.
One to the top. Is Apo going to go in? Or is it just going to play out more? High alert. Each creature control stands combat damage to toughness. Creature control can attack or Zoe didn't have defender. Oh, yeah. Lots of them have defender, don't they? You going in, Apo? Okay. Crack that. We're going to grab a black. Okay. Uh, return to the graveyard to your hand. So I can't do that, can I? So I'm just going to have to pass here. I guess I... I guess I could have... Drew on our turn. It's not inconceivable, that's what you'd do. Let's have a look. So they're doing that. As it turns out, it doesn't really matter too much. Now that's nice. Um I think even here actually I sacrifice this again. Because remember we're not really losing too much. I can always uh, chuck the cauldron familiar in front of it if it does attack in. Okay, the wall. So remember this can attack. Thanks to the high alert. So if this attacks in. Pass to attackers. Get that three up. Oh, go on. Uh, sacrifice to food. Chuck that in front. Boom. Okay, so here I think I play out the Midnight Reaper. What we're going for here, black. And as such, I'm going to go for... Grab this back off Oppo. Tack in with a familiar. Nice. And I'm going to sacrifice it. Deal one damage. Beautiful. Um, and I think we can pass. So this deck's quite nice. It's, um, I mean, we're against, a, we're against an opponent here that I think we've got a very high sort of probability of, of beating in all honesty. I mean, just look at this. Our Rankle's going to do some damage here. So is this, uh, does it have to be, so it has to deal damage to a player. So go for the Rankle. So remember, oh, that does have reach, doesn't it? So I should have attacked him with both there. Um, lesson learned, you know, teething troubles, that's fine. Give him the GGs. It's nice to see different decks in the meta. Um, but of course, um, it's, you just need to be a little bit more prepared for when those different cards do come out. And I think that's something that, as of late, I've I've struggled with. So we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have one more. We'll we'll have this as our last game, and that will be sort of our continued road to Mythic. Hopefully, like I say, over the next few days we can. Focus on these decks a little bit more. They are what I really do like is that they are very quick to play, and so um, we can we can get quite a few wins under our belt. It doesn't mean that we have to kind of make a big show of things, concentrate too much on the sideboarding. And I think my issue is going to be whether or not I prefer the um, the best of three 
or whether I prefer uh, not playing the best of three. And it's a little bit tricky for me in all honesty at the minute. Both certainly have their merits. So I'm going to hold on to the uh, red cat melee. We're against mono red again. Both certainly have their merits, of course. Um, I guess it just kind of depends what it boils down to. Just a bit, uh... Hmm. That's interesting. Let's take that out of here. So what do we do? Okay. So we can attack in with both. See if Papa wants to make some trades. Beautiful. Get the red out. So, next turn I can start attacking with Rankle, and that might get Oppo to um, concede. Get that block in. What have they got? Ah, they've probably got the Knight. They can buff this one and then play it out. All good for me, Oppo. All good. Come on, you know you want to. Not predictable at all. That's good. That's a good way to be sometimes, though, you know. Rimrock Knight. Oh, interesting. Um, I haven't got any sack outlets, and so... Uh, let's get this black. I think um, each player, I don't really want to discard the card. Each player loses a life and draws a card now. I think we just, let me just sacrifice here. I'm going to sacrifice the, uh, I'm going to sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar. I wonder what is going to go for. Oh, nice. Maybe the thought they can just get one extra damage in perhaps. Now I could, that's nice. I'll probably just have to play without any pets. Definitely gonna trade these two off. Oppo, play another creature. Play another creature, go on. No. Skewer the critics, how rude. Wow. That's not ideal for us. Um, we can play the gutter bones though. Because we can steal this. Attack it for two. Return this to our hand. And play it down. So it doesn't help us just yet, but it does kind of hold up her back slightly. It's a shame about Rankle. That would have won us the game. Interesting to see Oppo's not attacking. Okay, so Oppo's got us on a three-turn clock now. Judith. Ooh, what have they got? Could be a red cap melee. Could be a red cap melee. Come on, Oppo, what are you thinking? One copy of Judith has been run in this deck. Okay, so she lands on... Now, do I attack in? I think I do. I think I've got to keep up the pace. I might be wrong. Ah, no, I am wrong because Oppo clearly has a Ember Cleave in their hand. That's annoying, isn't it? Yeah, Oppo's got Ember Cleave. Um, so, so, what do I do with this then? Hmm. She doesn't have anything else, does she? <clears throat> so, on the off chance that... So they can either pump with this or do Ember Cleave with this. Both are dangerous. But here I can 
wipe out both. I pot potentially take a little bit more damage if it is Ember Cleave. It's not. Okay. Nice. Has that up got anything else? We pass the turn. Beautiful. And this could be it. This could be the victory. Let's see what Oppo goes for. Could have the could have the Phoenix of Ash. But it wouldn't be enough. Phoenix of Ash and the Knight. Phoenix of Ash and Embercleave. No, not enough. Sacrifice this. Shock. Nope, don't want that. My turn. Well, that's uh so I can't cast that in itself, can I? Okay. Could get this back, and I think I will. Uh one, two, three, four. Four four. Beautiful. So I was going to get, go get Priest of Forgotten Gods, but the Woe Strider is much nicer in this situation. It gives us another Scry, and I think we give Oppo the GG here. Let's see where we are. Let's see where we go in the ranks. See if we can end on a high. Oh, we just need one more win. Okay. We're going to play one more game. Let's go for it. One more game, and then we'll jump into a draft. Thank you for joining me on stream this uh, afternoon in the UK. If you uh, want to follow us on YouTube, we uh, try to post drafts every day at our gaming. And for those of you watching on YouTube, hi. Um, perhaps you can come and catch a stream with us. It, you can find it at our Dean on Twitch. Um, we, we stream most sort of... Early mornings in the UK, so kind of 6 a.m. time. Um, but we're going to be putting a, a schedule up really soon. So thank you very much for kind of everyone that's been asking us about that. But sometimes life is life, isn't it? Okay. So Slaughter Priest is certainly going up first if we can. We're against Rune Dragon, so hopefully we can march out to win here. Okay. Nice for us. What's up, are you thinking? I'm thinking whether or not we go Mayhem Devil or Rose Strider next. Thought Erasure. Well, I think Oppo's going to make a bad mind for us, right? Mayhem Devil is the win condition. Nice. Okay. Game plan's changed ever so slightly. We're going for three. Boom. End turn. So now we've got an instant two damage. This is such an such a great card and the uh and the design on it as well. Piotr did a fantastic job there. Okay. Into Planet Beacon. Now are they gonna use its ability? H eight is a good amount of ways. Okay, so fires. My turn. Hmm, now. Never. So I think here what I do is I play this out. I think I sacrifice the goat. 
which makes this just ever so slightly bigger. Because uh, it's important to keep growing the uh, the Dreadhorde Butcher as much as we can. And now Oppo is actually... Um, do we have lethal next turn? Yeah, we do. We can crack the food, bring in the... Uh, pump the Slaughter Priest so we deal 10. And then... Oh, they're not, they're not dead, I guess. But fires, okay. So no more counter spells. Oppo didn't have anything. That's interesting. Hmm. So this is interesting indeed. So we go for slot. What do we do here? So crack this food. Pump that. And yeah, we're one activation from this away shy. I don't think we could have done it. Ah, the Woe Strider could have. Hmm. We could have done it actually. The Woe Strider could have eaten the priest of Forgotten Gods. Oh, yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, so Woe Strider eats this. It pumps this up by another two, and then we sacrifice the Butcher. Darn. Now, what's going on here, do you think? In exchange for eternal servitude. Let's see what's going on there. Another priest, okay. I can buy into that. Oppo still needs to wipe our board. Dreadhold Butcher. Okay, so I'm going to sacrifice this. There, uh, we can kill that next turn. So I think, I think getting the damage in there is essential for us. Ah, wow, that was good for Oppo. That was good. So they amass four. Okay. Hmm, my turn. I think we have Oppo. I think we have him. So we deal one here. We give him the GG's. As if we know. Remember Oppo can't do anything on our turn because of that. Eat the cat. And we play out the cat again and we pick up the win. So, yeah, we've done very well. And then we end up in gold tier one. So that's that's something that we want to do today. We've gone straight from gold tier three to gold tier one. So hopefully we can uh, pop ourselves up. Is it diamond next? I think it is. Nice. So let's have a, let's have a gander where we are. So, oh no, it's platinum before diamond. Okay, so we can very much get to platinum, hopefully tomorrow. And then diamond during the week. That's excellent. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody, for joining me for this stream. I'm going to um, I'm going to quickly pause the YouTube video and, and give that a quick upload. So for everyone watching on YouTube at Our Gaming, um, I hope you're enjoying the content. Please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. See what you like, see what you want more of, what you want less of, and any areas of improvement. I'll try and stop punting, but not promising. And yeah, feel free to come and catch us on our Dean at Twitch, um, where you can help, help us draft and get involved in the standard play. So thank you very much, and I will catch you again shortly.